Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to discuss another commonly asked SQL query question, which is what is the difference between the functions row number, rank and dense rank functions. So all these three functions are ranking functions, which means they allow you to generate ranks or ranking for your data in a table in a particular order. For example, if you want to find out who is the student who got highest marks in some particular subject, let's say science, then you can use one of these functions to generate those ranks in your data. But what is the difference? So the difference is basically in the way they generate ranks in tie breaking scenarios so if two students let's say get the same marks then the difference is in the output in these scenarios for those two students who have got the same marks how the rank is generated for those two students so we can understand it better by taking an example so in this case, I'm going to take an example, not of the student database, but of the employee data. So we have a simple table called employee and it has got columns called the employee ID, name, department ID and salary. And our target is to find out or generate ranks for employees on the basis of their salary in a particular department. So let's get started. So the first function that I'm going to use over here is the rank function so i've already written star now let's use the rank function so rank is an aggregate function as are the other two functions as well aggregate functions have a particular syntax which needs to be followed which is let's say rank or let's do the row number function first so let's write the row number row number and then you have to write over and then within brackets you write a partition by clause so partition by partition by is like a group by clause so because we want to find out the employees in the order of their salary by each department we are going to group by the department so here it would be department id and since we want to order by or sort by the salary we are going to use the salary column for that and let's call it rank one now if we run this query we'll see that another column has been generated called rank one which has the output of the row number function so within department two if we look at the data we have the employees sorted in the order of their salary in the ascending order so the employee with the least salary is given rank one two and these are the employees who have got the same salary so adam and robert if you take a look over here they have got the same salary of fifty thousand, and their ranks are decided as three and four and so on now to understand the difference uh let's first write the same query using the other functions as well now i mentioned the difference is in the way they treat the tie breaking scenario so the tie breaking scenario is over here between Adam and Robert having got the same salaries. So we see that the row number just generates a number in a consequential order. Let's go with the other functions and see if there's any difference. So the next function that we are going to use is rank and it has the same format because it's also an aggregate function. So we are going to just copy paste this and call it rank two. And now let's run this function so here let's go to our tie breaking scenarios the other ranks generated are in the same order let's go to the tie breaking scenarios of adam and robert so these two have got the rank of three and three so they have got the same rank in case of the rank function whereas in case of row number function the ranks were unique ranks were generated and the rank was incremented by one for robert okay and that is in no particular order so there's no way it's a random order uh, in which the ranks have been decided between adam and robert the next time you run the query in some other environment it is possible that robert might get the rank three and adam might guide might get the rank four with the row number function but in case of the rank function since both of them have got the rank of three it's uh, the 
confusion will always be avoided and you will always get the same output. Now, another thing to observe here is that the next rank that has been generated is 5 and not 4. So, if two people have got the same rank, it will skip that particular another number which does not appear in the rank and increment it to the next number. So, it will always be 5. So, it just skipped 4 and generated the next rank as 5. Now, in this case, we had the tiebreaker between two people, Adam and Robert. Let's go down below and see this scenario where we have a tiebreaker between three people. And they've all got the salary of 60,000. Now, in case of the row number function, it's again consequential, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. But in case of the rank function, all three of them have got the rank 2. And the next rank that has been generated is 5. So in this case, what happens is that if there are 5 people in this department, your ranks which have been generated will always be equal to the number of employees in that department. Okay, so they will always be equal to the number of distinct records in your department. Where in case of row number, you can see that there were 5 people in the department. Okay. Or uh, let's go over here. Okay. And in case of row number also, it is the same. All right. Because it just generates it consequentially. So if there are five people in the department, your row numbers are generated till five. But then there is another function called the dense rank function. Let's see how that works. So I'm just going to copy this over here. Again, the same format because it's also an aggregate function. So let's just put dense over here. Okay, and make it as rank 3 and now run our query. Okay, so in this case what happens again we are focusing on the tie breaking scenarios because the other ranks that have been generated are the same. So in this scenario Adam and Robert, let's see what is the rank generated by the dense rank function is again 3, 3. But the next rank that has been generated is 4. Okay, so it doesn't skip any number, it generates the next number as the rank. So in this case, if we go to the other scenario where we had three tiebreakers, okay, it generates rank two for all three of them and the next rank it generates is three. So what happens in this case is that though there are five people in the department, five distinct people, the ranks generated are less than the number of people or number of employees in the department. Okay. So not that it matters um, any how, but uh, just in case if there's a particular scenario in which you need to take this in notice, then you should remember that in case of dense rank, the number of ranks which are generated, which might be less than the number of distinct records in your table in case you have duplicates in your table. Whereas the ranks generated through the row number and rank will be equal to the number of distinct records in your table. The only difference between row number, rank and rank is that row number is always consequential or sequential. Uh, rank gives the same rank to employees having the same salary. Dense rank also does the same but the next rank that it generates is, con is sequential. Okay it does not skip any rank so this is the difference between these three functions now let's say that you have a requirement where you do not want these tie breaking scenarios you do not want uh, people having the same rank okay so now that is not possible if you actually want to distinguish between people who have the same salary then the only thing that you need to do over here is introduce another column or another value based on which you want to sort by so let's say i do not want adam and robert to have the same rank though they have the same salary and it's also important to remember that with row number it's always random okay so one in one output you might get adam having uh, rank three in another you might get robert having rank three so that is also important to remember if you want to run the same thing at multiple places multiple times you might get different output every time okay so now i do not want this even with rank and dense rank functions which are more accurate in terms of generating the rank but i do not want any two people to have the same rank so you have to introduce another variable by which you want to sort so in case of let's say order by salary we also want to order by let's say the name of the employee in an ascending manner so if we run this query now 
then we should be able to see some difference so what happens in this case is again adam gets rank 3 because obviously a comes before r and we have sorted by the name so it takes it um, in ascending order so this is not very visible over here and here also i think okay so we our data is such that all of them are in ascending order so that's why we have got it in ascending order okay let's try another maybe another parameter let's say we want to now sort by the employee id okay so now let's run this query okay what you can see over here is that now we have got distinguished ranks for each employee because we introduce another variable based on which we are sorting by so that is the only way to resolve a tiebreaker scenario introducing another parameter on which you want to sort by your result or based on which you want to calculate your rank so i hope that this made it clear uh, to you about the difference between the row number rank and dense rank functions and how they can be used in the tiebreaker scenarios if you found this video useful then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel because we will be posting more videos soon thanks a lot for watching goodbye